My name is Ephraim Kesabilo from Botswana. I've been having a lower back pain since 2009, and in 2014 I've been diagnosed with a disc hernia L4 and L5. 2020, I was diagnosed with another one, and this is the medical report that I'm holding here from Botswana Medical Imaging Center. Here on the screen is this medical report for medical imaging. Botswana is a medical report for Mr. Ephraim Kashabile. Here the doctors examined him because previously he has been complaining of this severe pain in the back. So they went ahead to do this MRI of the lumbar spine and you can see the various findings by the doctors. He was diagnosed with annular bulge with small narrow-based nuclear bulges at L3, L4 and L4, L5. They also found that he has got narrow exit neuroforamen at L4, L5. They noted still that at L3, L4 he has got bilateral and at L4, L5 he has got right-sided spondyloarthritis with facetal effusion considered to be the cause of this instability in his spine. You can clearly see that they also noted he has got a right renal cyst. This is a cyst in the kidney. Dr. Joseph Kimaro, the diagnosis radiologist confirms this healing time in Jesus mighty name this is a special prayer that is going on for Mr. Ephraim to be healed for 16 years he has had this pain in the lower back now the Lord Jesus Christ is flushing out this pain untangling him from the chains of disease in the power of the Holy Spirit be free in Jesus holy name rise up and go you are free glory be to Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Mr. Ephraim from Botswana had been enslaved in pain for 16 years. After the prayer, he was totally healed and free. Listen to his testimony. My name is Ephraim Kesabile from Botswana. The lady standing behind me here is my wife, Mera Pelo Kesabine. I've been having a lower back pain starting from 2008. After playing rugby, I went to the hospital, I went to the doctors. Firstly, they just started giving me some painkillers, thinking that it was some muscles that were just involved. And in 2014, I went for an MRI scan that confirmed that I have a disc herniation L4 and L5. And then they gave me some lumbar corsets, so that I used. And then as time went on, the pain was subsided, and then I just put them aside. It just went on like that for such a long time. And then in 2020, the pain just came back again. It was very, very severe again. And when I went to the hospital, they did another MRI scan. We showed that now the other disc is affected. That now was L3 and L4. By the time I arrived at the hospital, my wife met me there. I was in so much pain. She can tell you what she witnessed that day. Good morning, church. My name is Vera Perugisabiru from Botswana. The man beside me is my husband. Um, we really suffered for a very long time. We didn't know what to do. We went to so many hospitals. We used so many funds and you know it, it was very difficult for me because i had to chip in do the duties that i'm not supposed to be doing i had to do his duties i had to go to the cattle post in his place when the schools for the children call i had to go because he couldn't sit in any chair he had to sit in a special chair even driving, when we go home on holidays, I was the one who was supposed to drive because he couldn't drive for long distances. We really, really suffered. And we had to buy a special bed for him. Still, we had to use money, but he was not getting better. And then in 2020, he was airlifted 
from the Kalagadi district to Haburuni. He was admitted and it was really, really bad because the doctors kept on saying, even if we operate, there are no guarantees that you'll be fine. And they kept on saying that you will end up in a wheelchair. So I was really, really scared. We didn't know what to do. And then last year, when I was on Facebook, by the grace of God, I saw the Kakande Ministries. We started watching and I introduced it to him. We watched together. And then sometime this year, when we were watching, we saw some lady from Botswana, Banyana. She had back pains and she was operated in her back, but she, she was healed. So we made up our minds and we had to look for funds to come here. And that's why we are here today. Brethren, too much money was used during my suffering. And as she said, when I saw that lady on TV, I saw how she has suffered. She came here on a wheelchair. She went back to Botswana working. I said, now is our time to go. I knew that I'm coming to the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, to fight the devil. So I just went to the airport, boarded the plane, and arrived here in Kampala to meet the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. And I was privileged to be on the prayer lane. When the man of God was praying for people who were on my side, the pain started to subside. And then when it was my turn, I didn't know what happened. I just saw that man's eyes, and then I felt too much force. And then he told me that you are free, stand up. That's when I stood up. Children of God, I would like to praise the Lord for healing me. I would like to, I would like to thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. I give honor and glory to the Lord. Right now, I couldn't just bend easily to pick a thing from the ground. Now I can bend and pick it. I wouldn't squat. Now I can squat and come back. Walking, now I can walk fast. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Batswana ko botswana mudimo o teng mudimo wa tsela ha o bata go bona mudimo gore wa tsela ta mo monengwa mudimo prophet Samuel Kakande a te a go boloke a re tswe mo mosong wa le fifi re te mo le seding morena Jesu Kristo o teng wa tsela o pe yona le mathato o kileng a ko nga keng kana ko kae masna Paul Epe Taiko Uganda, who Prophet Samuel Kakandi, Otto Bona Paul, Madiman Tintira Dris and Gunak and Tasso Kokai, Arim and Guanwa who dream. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Church. I would like to confirm his healing. He is really healed indeed. You know, the things that he couldn't do as a man, he is now doing them. I'm really grateful and thankful to God. I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for us. I give glory and honor to our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We can now give God glory.